Hello, and welcome to this one chart video tutorial on how to customize the navigator bands, which are located in the column to the right of the table of contents under the flow sheet and INO tab after establishing a relationship with the patient and opening their chart. Navigator bands allow you to view patient information in an organized manner. Today, we will go over a few tips to customizing the view of your navigator bands, such as adding, deleting, and moving the navigator bands to personalize your EHR. We will begin by having already logged onto one chart, set up our patient assignment, established a relationship with our patient, opened a patient's chart, and navigated to either the flow sheet doc or a flow sheet and INO tab from the table of contents. It's important to point out that in order to customize your navigator bands, you must have the flow sheet tab open. First, upon opening the flow sheet doc in the patient's chart, you will notice the menu across the very top portion of your screen. The third tab from the left is View. Click View, and you will be prompted to a drop down screen. Move your cursor over the tab Layout and over to Navigator Bands. Click Navigator Bands. After clicking Navigator Bands, a pop-up will be displayed with the available Navigator Bands on your left column and the current Navigator Bands in your flow sheet on the right column. To add a Navigator Band, click one or more bands from the left column and click the right arrow located between the columns. This will then move the bands to the current document types at the bottom. When you have added all the Navigator Bands you want, click OK. At this point, you will notice a pop-up, letting you know the changes to navigator bands will not be displayed until you close and restart the application. Click OK. Next, we want to close and reopen the patient's chart. We will then go back into the patient's flow sheet. The navigator bands you have added will now be displayed. We will continue by navigating how to delete the navigator bands. Like we did before, you will go back up to view at the top left corner of your screen, down to layout, and over to navigator bands. At this point, you can click one or more navigator bands you would like to get rid of under the current document types and click on the left arrow to move the band to the available document types. In this case, I chose to move Adult Education. The Navigator band is now moved to the left-hand column. Once again, click OK and a pop-up screen will remind you you must close out of the patient chart and reopen in order for this change to be displayed. Close the patient's chart and then reopen. Notice when you click on the flow sheet, you can now see adult education is removed from the bands. The last tip is to move the navigator bands. You can move your most used navigator bands at the top for easy access. Once again, you will go to view, down to layout, and over to navigator bands. Click on the band you would like to move and then use the arrows on the right side to move the band up or down. I am going to move Advanced Graphing Band up to the top. Click OK and you will be prompted to close the patient chart for the change to be affected. Reopen the patient chart and go to Flow Sheet. You will now see Advanced graphing is displayed at the top of the column. This concludes how to customize the navigator bands.